Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a forum on WordPress. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is open your WordPress website and head over to your dashboard. On WordPress, scroll down to the plugin section and click on Add New. We'll be adding a plugin to create our forum. In the plugin search bar, type Forum and you'll see a list of plugins appear. The first plugin, WPF 40 Forum, is one of the best options for creating a forum. It allows you to design a modern and responsive forum. To install, click on Install Now, and once it's installed, click Activate. After activation, the plugin will be ready to use. Open WP40 from your dashboard. Go to the Forum section where you'll see the option to create a new forum. Click on Add New. Here, you'll need to enter your forum title. I'm going to call mine Test for now. Next, enter your forum description. This content will be displayed under the forum title on the forum list. For now, I'll just write Test as the description. You can, of course, add a description that suits your forum's purpose. Next, you'll see the forum slug field. The slug is a URL-friendly version of the forum name, so you can customize it here. Then, we have the forum icon. Choose an icon that represents your forum. For example, I'll select the desktop icon for this demonstration. Now we move to the forum SEO description. This is an SEO-friendly description that helps your forum rank higher in search engine results. You can use AI tools or consult a writer or web designer to craft an optimized description. For this demo, I'll simply add test here. Once the primary fields are filled out, you can configure the additional settings. First, we have forum options. If you want to assign a parent forum or category to your forum, you can do so here. Since this is a standalone forum, I won't select a parent category. Next is category layout, which determines how forums are displayed. Since no category is selected, I don't have this option for now. Under forum permissions, you can assign roles such as admin, full access, moderator, limited control to manage posts, registered users, standard access guests, read-only access customers, standard or read-only access. For this demo, I'll select standard access. Then we have the forum color option where you can customize the appearance of your forum. I'll choose a purple color, but you can select any color you prefer. Once you've configured all settings, click Publish. The forum will now appear on your website. To preview it, click on the View option. Here's what the forum looks like on my website. As you can see, the title is Test, and the description appears below it. There's also an option to subscribe to a new topic via RSS. This is what my forum looks like. The color and layout reflect the settings I chose. As the admin, I can see the control panel, a sharing option, forum information, recent posts, and member details. Overall, the forum looks professional and responsive. If you want to edit your forum, go back to the Edit option. Clicking the pencil icon will take you to the Forum Builder, where you can update the forum title, description, slug, or any other field. You can also change the layout to threaded or simplified and upload a cover image. To upload a cover image, click Upload, then select an image from your library or computer. After making changes, click Save Changes and your forum will be updated. If you want to create additional forums, click the plus button to add a new one. It will become a sub-forum or a parent forum depending on your setup. Add all necessary information for the new forum. To delete a forum, click on the bin icon. This will remove the forum along with any subforums, topics, and replies. It also offers various tools for moderation, settings, and phrases. These options help you manage your forum more efficiently. WPF40 is an excellent plugin for creating forums on WordPress, offering flexibility and professionalism. And that's how you can create a forum on WordPress. Thank you for watching.